The state MP Russell North has quit the National Party to ease his workload as he battles complex personal problems. But he intends to stay on as an independent representing his marginal seat of Morwell. Mr North today opened up about his struggles with depression, gambling and financial problems. He spoke to the ABC's Kelly Lazaro. Russell North is back at work for the first time since June. Today's a really big step. It's going to be a tough day, but hopefully tomorrow will be better. And for the first time, he's revealed the reasons for his leave of absence from Parliament. Did I gamble too much? Absolutely. Um, uh, did I drink too much? Absolutely. How bad did things get for you? I'm lucky to be here. There's probably a few times that I was very, very close to not being here. I hated looking in the mirror. Um, I even went to the extent of recently growing a beard. I didn't want to shave because I didn't want to look at myself in the mirror. Russell North won the traditional Labor seat of Morwell for the National Party 11 years ago and served as a minister in the Napthine government. He says a series of pressures took their toll. The death of a close friend, drug addiction in the family and financial problems all added to the stress of his job. There are days to be about the politics and then there are days to just reflect on the fact that uh, these are not easy roles to perform and we would, I'd simply say that I wish Russell and his family all the best. He says the National Party has supported him through the crisis. They saw signs of my depression and illness and like a lot of people I pushed them away. From today he'll be sitting in Parliament as an independent. It's important for my own health perspective but uh, the community also need uh, a local MP representing them. And if that's the professional advice he's had, that's, that's what he should be doing. Russell North isn't sure if he'll contest the next election, but if he does, there's a lot of damage to be repaired. The ABC understands Russell North has amassed a personal debt of at least $100,000, partly linked to his gambling, and a number of local creditors are involved. When you were getting the loans, did you lie to people about the reasons for the money as well? Oh, look, I'm not going to go into all, all that detail other suffice to say that uh, uh, I beat myself up every day you know, being more upfront with with people around me uh, for those things. You're giving a guarantee that that the money will be repaid? Oh absolutely. The National Party will now search for a new candidate to run against him. Kelly Lazaro, ABC News, Terelgan.